questions here before we head into this lesson, because this is what, as Elaine just said, we're going to focus on today. So my two questions are, what are prime numbers and what are composite numbers? So take a second and think about those two types of numbers. And you can put either in the chat or you can raise your hand. You can let me know what prime numbers are and what composite numbers are. Lovely, lovely, there's so many hands ready. Okay, so Tender, which one would you like to give us a, uh, I think to Tender left me, that's all right. Bonolo, would you like to give me a definition and you can let me know which one you want to give first? Ma'am, I would like to give a definition for prime numbers. Yes, perfect, let's go. So ma'am, prime numbers are a number greater than one that cannot be that cannot be exactly divided by any whole number other than one and itself. Okay, very nice. That's a nice definition, actually. So guys, basically a prime number is a number and importantly greater than one, and you can add that in if you'd like to, that can only be divided by one and itself. I'm being lazy. Divided by one and it's not. So what we mean when we say that is if we think about the number five, I can only divide five by one and five. So essentially it only has two factors, two numbers I can times together to get the answer. One and itself. And there's a whole long list of prime numbers, an infinite number of prime numbers really. But importantly, it either you either thinking of it as it only for me only having two factors, or a number that can only be divided by one and itself. Either way to think about it is perfectly fine. It can only be divided by one and itself. Those are its only factors that it has. Mm. Okay, so Bartlett, do you want to try, what are we on? Composite numbers. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, composite numbers are numbers that have more than two factors. Perfect. So a number with more than two factors. So basically, guys, if it's not a prime number, it is a composite number. Now, a lot of you have much wordier and much more in-depth explanations, which is absolutely fine. Um, talking about positive integers and et cetera, et cetera. That's cool. I'm just keeping it nice and simple so that we all know what's, what's going on. With more than the factors of one in itself. Okay, so that's a one. Sorry, it's a weird looking one. Let's try that again. If we think about the number six, for example, six can be found by saying one times six, but six also has the factors two times three. So the fact that I've got this extra factor pair there means that I'm not working with a prime number, I'm working with a composite number. And so like I say, basically, if it's not a prime number, it is a composite number because they're sort of, it's either one or the other. So I'm going to leave it up there in case you want to take a screenshot. Like I say, some of you have much longer definitions, which is absolutely fine. But just to keep it simple, this is what we're going to sort of think about when we think about prime numbers and composite numbers. So I'm just waiting in case anyone wants to screenshot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. Uh, Rotando. I hope I'm saying that right. You can correct me. And um, Tola Kele, your hands are still up. If you've got a question, you can leave it up. If you don't, you can lower it. Just that I'm not missing any questions. So guys, remember, if a question has been answered, lower your hand. 
Hey, Lutando, what is your question? Uh, Ma'am, uh, I just want to recap on prime numbers and composite numbers. Prime numbers are numbers that have two factors, mainly one and the number itself. And composite yeah. numbers are the numbers with more than two factors. Perfect. Right. Okay, I hope I'm saying your name correctly, but correct me if I'm not. For Clio. Have you got a question? Okay, is it in play a question? Ma'am, if may I ask, is it fine if we screen record the, the whole section or what? So remember, all of the lessons are recorded and will go onto the website or the app. You can take screenshots as we go along. Oh, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Sure. Sorry, ma'am. No question. Okay. So, Lakela, do you have a question? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, so you're saying that composite numbers are numbers that can be divided by two numbers other than one and itself. It doesn't only have to be two numbers, but basically it can be divided by more than just one in itself. So for example, four, what happens there? Four only has three factors, one, two, and four, but it still has that extra factor over and above one in itself. So it's a composite number. So the number must be divided and not leave a remainder. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Good. Nice, guys, and good clarification points. Very nicely done. Righto. So let's have a look at some examples of how we use these. Okay, I, I remember this already. I made some weird choices with my numbering. So I am going to give you a list of numbers now. I'm sorry, I just want to move this all so we can get it all onto one screen. Otherwise, it causes chaos. And we've got a list of numbers here, and we want to answer the following question. So there's your list of numbers. You can read them. I don't think I need to read them for you. But I am asking you five different questions here. But we're going to just go slowly and go through them one by one. Now, remember, you only raise your hand once your answers are written down, and you're happy with your answers, and you can then check your answers. So we've got our list of numbers here from one to 57. And the first question I'm asking you to do is write down from the list, all of the even numbers. So take a second, write them down so that you can double check when we go through it. Make sure you're happy with your answers and then we'll have a look. Okay, Kuklayo, do you want to give us the first one? Am I saying your name correctly as well before we do that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. The, the first one is 2, 12, 32, 44, 52. 52. Excellent. Well done. Now, how did you know all of those were even numbers? What do you check for to see if a number is even? Lyle? Yes, ma'am. So how did you know those were all even? Because remember they are in twos. Perfect. Okay, exactly. So guys, all of those numbers, sorry, I'm going to see. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Bless all you. of those numbers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All of those numbers, we can divide by two. And so we know they are all even numbers. Very nicely done. Okay, good. 
So the second one, D, is asking you from this list of numbers, all of your prime numbers. So again, take a second, write it down, make sure you're happy with your answers, and then I'll take some hands and see if we all agree. Oh. Remember my pips, we need to ensure that we write everything down first on our paper, double check, and then you can give an answer. Y'all are doing amazingly and I just feel like we have geniuses in here to just them. This know, class is too. amazing. Okay, well, Sue, do you want to give us B, the prime numbers here? It should be a little pop up to unmute. Oh, no, yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. It's 12. Prime numbers, remember? Oh, ma'am, can I just work it out? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, Rotavila, do you want to help us out while we have a look at our prime numbers? Yes, teacher. Okay. Prime hey. Prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 17, uh, 39, 41, 43, and 57. Okay, cool. So the two I didn't write down are 27 and 57. Just because 27, if I divide that by 3, I get 9. So I, there is actually more factors than 1 and 29. And 57, if I divide that by 3, I get 19. So again, more factors than just 1 and 57. But the rest, all absolutely fine. Well done. 47. 57 divided by 2, it's... Oh, by 3. 57 divided by 3, it's a cost to 19. Okay, guys, very nice. Now, one number we didn't list here that I just want to point out is the number one. One's a bit of a weird one because actually the only factor of one is one because one times one is the only way we can get one. So one actually only has one factor. So we don't include it in prime numbers because it's a bit of an odd case where it actually only has one factor. Um, I see some people sort of putting that idea in the chat that it's, to be honest, I've never heard the term a universal number. Maybe I need to Google that. But essentially, it's a bit of an odd one because it only has itself. There's only one factor for one. Okay. Um, whew, lots of pounds. Very nice. Right. D. No, maybe we should do C first. C is asking you from the list of numbers to give me all of the odd Composite numbers. So read that very carefully. Odd composite numbers. But a shadow, do you want to try C? Okay. Fine, up. Uh, Fresh, you want to try C for us? <laughs> Let's go, Fresh. I can see you. Let's go. They will be helping you in the chat. So all those hands there, what I want you to do now is to help Fresh on the chat, okay? So you can lower your hand, except Fresh. Fresh, you can unmute yourself. The rest, lower your hands and put your answers on the chat so you can help Fresh. Let's go. We are a team. We are helping each other. So lower your hand, everyone except Fresh. And Fresh, please give us the answer. And if you don't know, then you have to check on the on the chat, okay? And make sure you understand. So everyone, Fatu, I see your hand, lower your hand. Lise, I see your hand, lower your hand. Everyone, uh, Lawrence, lower your hand, please. Uh, Tando, also lower your hand. Everyone, lower your hand except uh, Fresh, okay? We are all helping Fresh on the chat. Let's go. 
press they're helping you on the chat you can unmute on your side so you can talk to teacher sam and i let's go press everybody is helping you unmute on your side you can do this i'm like your cheerleader so i know you can do it unmute press are you unmuting no pressure though pressure really if if you feel uncomfortable it's also fine it's just i see your hand and i thought you wanted to answer are you okay to talk to us, Presh? Presh, I'm not sure whether you're just having a problem unmuting or because you don't want to answer. So, okay. The teacher. Which is Sam, I think we will have to pass a little bit. Hey, Presh, um, we will find, oh, there we go. Here is Presh. Presh, do you want to give some answers to teacher uh, Sam? And thank you to everyone on the chat that is giving answers. We really appreciate them and we will do corrections. And you are amazing people. We work as a team. Oh, um, I just started writing now. Okay. I'm just gonna hang to him because I don't think all of us are actually reading the question properly. And I put it in the chat. I want all of the composite numbers that are odd. Now we've spoken about what composite numbers are. They're numbers with more than one factor. And then I want the ones that are odd in this list. I'm not asking for like some weird new number that I haven't explained to you. So think about all of the numbers in this list that are composite numbers. And then from those, Tell me which ones are odd. That's what I'm asking for here, guys. So take a second, think about it. Of all of the numbers in this list, start with which ones are composite numbers. And from there, narrow it down to only the odd ones. That is what the question C is asking me. Some of you are giving me numbers that are not in this list. Be careful. I only want the numbers from this list here. There is no nine in this list. There is no 15 in this list. There is no 25 in this list. So be careful. Right, Faith, do you want to help us out here? I think the number will be 1, 27, 39, and 57. Okay, so 1 is neither prime nor a composite. We can leave 1 out, but I do agree 27. What was your other one? 39? 39 and 57. Excellent. Well done. So, guys, those are all of your odd composite numbers. Now, if we just go to our list. If we just consider the composite numbers, so forget odd, composite. Composite numbers here are 12, 27, 32, 39, uh, 44, 52, and 57. And of those yellow highlighted numbers, only 27, 39, and 57 are odd. So that is what the question is asking you odd composite numbers okay so be very careful and read your questions carefully so that we are actually answering the question we have been asked how was this making sense to everyone now it was a very sneaky question my people well done that y'all got it are those maybe those hands are up for questions hey teacher sam i hope so so markley and Kyle, your hands are up because I'm assuming you have a question. If not, please lower them. Anyone who's late, don't worry. Go and get the recording, remember, within 24 hours on the website. Boise, I don't really know what you mean why. So see if you can ask me a question about what, what it is you're a bit confused about, and then I'll help you. Amakle, what is your question? Um, afternoon, ma'am. Afternoon. Uh, miss, I don't understand number C, where they say the odd composite numbers. Okay, do you agree with me that the ones I've highlighted in yellow, all of those are composite numbers? Yes, ma'am. Okay, 
Now, from those highlighted ones, I just want to pick the ones that are odd numbers. There are odd composite numbers. So the odd numbers in my yellow highlighted ones are 27, 39, and 57. That's it. Yes, so from the composite one, guys, I wanted to then only pick the ones that were odd in terms of the yellow highlighted numbers. Does that make yes, sense, Michael? Yes, Miss, it does. Okay, good. So for those of you asking on the chat, I'm hoping that makes sense. I've explained it. I only wanted the composite numbers that were odd. Reply your question. Yes, ma'am. I, I know the answer for number D. Okay, hang on two seconds. Let me just make sure I've got all of the questions answered before we move on. So, Bartle, do you have a question? No, no okay. my just wanted to answer the question. Okay, so guys, like I said, please put your hands down. I'm trying to answer questions first. I will come to the rest of these questions now. So if your hand is up, it's because you have a question for me. So Martle and Koflayo, you guys then have questions for me. Your hands are up. If you don't, please lower your hands. Koflayo, I know you don't have a question because I've just asked you. So lower your hand. Okay, Gondor, do you have a question? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, I don't understand number C, number C. It's confusing me. Okay, I'm going to re-explain it now, now. Give me two seconds. Wanda, is your hand up to also re-explain C? Wanda, I can't hear you. Ma'am, I wanted sure to ask, where, where can I find the recording? All on the website or on the app? Okay, ma'am, thank you. Okay, cool. Right. I'm going to start my explanation for C again, and this is the last time I'm explaining it because this is now like the third or fourth time. So listen carefully if you are not understanding C, and if you are not understanding still after this, you need to go and watch the recording. Now, those of you asking me for composite numbers, I'm a little bit disappointed because we did a definition for composite numbers. I asked you to take a screenshot. And so you should know what a composite number is because we spoke about it. If you're late, I completely understand that. So just make sure then that you're letting us know that you're late so that we know what it is that you've missed. Right, so a composite number, guys, is a number with more than just one and itself as a factor. So there's more numbers that I can times together to get the number I'm working with than just one times the number. So I've given you some examples there. Six, four, there's tons and tons of composite numbers. So when we then get to example one, and I've given you a list of numbers, and someone very importantly said in the in the chat, we are looking only at this list of numbers. I don't care about all of the other numbers. I just care about these numbers. So from this list of numbers, I wanted, according to C, all of the odd composite numbers. So let's break this down. Firstly, I want the composite numbers. So let's ignore everything else and let's start with the composite numbers. And I'm just gonna erase everything that I've got going on here so that we've got a clean slate. So from my list of numbers, I just want to start with the composite numbers. So all of the numbers that are not prime numbers. So those are 12, 27, 32, 39, 44, 52, and 57. So these ones that I've underlined in red, those are the composite numbers because they've got lots of factors to them. For example, 27, 1 times 27 three times nine. There's more factors than just one and the number. So we start with that bit. Then I move on to the sort of first bit of my statement where I'm now wanting specifically the odd composite numbers. So now I look at the ones I've underlined in red and I say, okay, which ones are odd? 12 is not odd, so we leave it. 27 is an odd number. 39 is an odd number and 57 is an odd number. So only those three are my odd composite numbers. 
All right. So that is how we're going to deal with it. We first start with where are my composite numbers or what are my composite numbers? And then we go on to say um, which ones specifically are odd. I hope this makes sense. It is the underlying numbers that are composite, red, blue, whatever. Mine is red on my screen, but I've underlined them. You can see them in the list. And from what I've underlined, which ones are odd? So that is what that question in C was asking us. So these were the numbers I've listed here for you. This list of numbers is the numbers that I'm talking about. We're using these numbers to answer this question. That's why I say consider the list of numbers below. And then we're going to write down from that list the answers to our questions. Right, Bontle, do you have a question still? Um, I'm sorry, I was raising a hand because I didn't understand the odd numbers. Does it now make sense that I've explained it? Yes, ma'am. Good, well done. Right, so guys, we have to read um, very carefully. So exactly, we first pick the composite numbers and then from those, we pick the odd numbers because it is specifically the odd composite numbers. So look here, question. Ma'am. Hmm? So prime numbers and odd numbers, are they one in the same thing or are they different? They're different. Prime numbers is only numbers that have one and itself that can divide into it. Whereas odd numbers are just numbers that we can't divide by two. So for example, 27 is not a prime number because its factors are one, three, nine, and 27, but it is an odd number. So that it is not one in the same. Good question, well done. Good, Will, I, you've asked this question on the chat. I don't really know what it is you're asking me. I'm not too sure where you've seen square number factor. Can you give me an example? And then maybe I can help you. Where have you seen it before? I haven't got that anywhere here, so just, if you've got an example for me, send it to me and then I can hopefully help you. Um, right, I'm taking square numbers, then that's it. Because he asked it... also. Square numbers, okay. that's what I've explained for him. Okay, fine. So square numbers, Yulinda's has helped you out with that. Thank you so much. Hopefully that makes sense. Right, Lawrence, last question and then I am moving on. I am reading the chat, guys. I'm trying to keep up with everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I was asked about the prime factor. Okay, yeah. And I'm like, I don't understand prime factors. How do you explain to me? Okay, I haven't done prime factors yet. I will get to prime factors. When we get there, I will explain it and then hopefully it'll make sense. Yes, okay, cool. Those of you wanting me to zoom in, I'm assuming you wanted me to zoom in on the uh, list of numbers. So there you go. Take a screenshot because I yep. think we all need a break. And then we will come back to the last two questions. Um, and remember, we're working with this list of numbers here. You guys really did well. So I just want to explain something. Now, normally, we discuss about what Teacher Sam is uh, teaching us every single time we are on this lesson. If you are able to come early, uh, in the class, like arrive maybe five minutes um, before the class starts at six. We are, however, maybe can manage to help you with your homework if you let us know that you have a problem or a concept that you don't understand. But once we start with the topic and it's six o'clock, we focus on that topic, okay, my people? So those are the rules. Right, exactly, guys. So, yeah, right, here is our break. Um, we are not finished yet, no, we are gonna carry on. I just think our brains are all a little bit tired. Let's just take a little break and then we can carry on with that example we were on. Um, I will go back to it. So if you didn't manage to get a screenshot, don't stress, we're gonna go back to that example. But I think let's get up, let's stretch, Let's make sure that we're all focused. I know it's late. I know it's hot. 
It's been a long day, so let's just try and get our brains to work for the last 20, 15 minutes. Um, our brain breaks a little bit different today. It's not really mathy. I wanted to take a break from mathy stuff. And so what we've got here is some riddles. I'm not very good at riddles. So I'd like to see how, how well everyone does with these riddles because I think you're probably all better at me than these riddles. So like I say, take a break. We're going to take five minutes, try to solve these riddles for me, and then we'll go back to those factors and hopefully things are going to make a little bit more sense once we try again. Angela, I see your hand is up. Do you have a question? Yes, ma'am. I, I wanted to answer question D. Okay, we will come back to that in a second. So keep your answer ready. And then when we go back, you can raise your hand again. Okay. Okay, okay ma'am. Thank you. Good. Right, for those of you asking me to go back to the work, remember I've just said that I will go back there in a second. We're just going to take a little break. I'll go back there in a second and you can then get all your screenshots and stuff. Okay, so don't stress, I will go back if you didn't get it all done. Right, finally, just a reminder, what we're currently doing is we are currently just taking a little break. Okay, it's been a lot of information. We're just taking a little break. We are going to carry on with the example. So that's where we're currently at. I see some answers coming through on the chat, which is awesome. Very nicely done. Wojtu, do you have an answer for me for the riddle? Ma'am, I got an answer for the second one. Uh, you go and read the stop at green. Yes, ma'am. Okay, what, uh, what do you think that is? A parent rushing to work. <laughs> uh, I, I like that um, no but um, I, I like that well done so Tender ma'am I'm going to answer number one okay I'm ready um, it's a deck of playing cards excellent well done so the first one is a deck of cards Anyone who's played cards before knows that you've got four suits, hearts, diamonds, oh, that's a weird looking club, clubs, and spades. And in each of those suits, there are 13 of those cards. So in one deck of cards, there are 13 hearts. Very nice. Well done. Wanda, do you want to give me an answer to another one? Yes, ma'am, for number two. Is it a watermelon? Very nicely done. A watermelon. And I'm going to draw a very weird looking watermelon now. That's your watermelon. Remember, this is the red part, and that's the part you eat. But we don't eat the green part, so you stop at the green. Nice. So we're just missing the one for three. I'll be honest, I struggled with three. <laughs> well done, everybody. I struggled with one, guys. Well done. <laughs> I see lots of hands, though. So I guess y'all know answers. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Shifiwa, I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. Yes, ma'am. At least answer number three. I think it's a ghost. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I'm invisible, but you... You know, I, I give you ghosts. That wasn't the answer that... Um, it originally gave, but ghost makes sense to me. Yeah, I would tend to agree with that. Mavuyo, do you have another one? A phone isn't invisible for those of you saying phone, so just be careful. For Kukle, do you have another one for three? Um, yes, ma'am. I think it's an echo. Right, that's the one you got as well. That's it. Nice. Very nice. Nice, guys. You're much better at this than me. Very well done. Okay, so all of those hands that are up, let's lower them just so we're not getting confused. If you do have a question, leave it up. But this is just our brain break, so this isn't something you need to stress about. Just something fun to do before we carry on with our lesson. 
Now, for those of you who wanted a screenshot of the questions, I'm about to go back up. So remember to take a screenshot when I get back up there. So it's Pukutle and Ritabele, your hands are still up. Please lower them unless you have a question. Ritabele? Ma'am, I don't get the joke. <laughs> um, so the joke is, it's like a pun because it counts like you count in maths. Oh. It's a very cheesy joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Imavoyo, your hand is up. Do you have a question? Okay, right, guys. Let's go back up to those questions and let's <clears throat> try to finish those all. Right, so here we are, remember? I'm now back here in case you wanted to take a screenshot. <laughs> we've got D and we've got E to finish off. Right, now there was a question about prime factors, but I'll, I'll deal with that in a second. Okay, so we'll come back to those prime factors. So hang on two seconds. So question D is now asking for the factors of 12. So remember, you want to look at this list of numbers. And from that list of numbers, you want to decide which ones are factors of 12. So I really see lots of hands. I'm hoping every single person here with a hand up has um, already written it down in their book. Uh, to feel well, I'm not too sure what you were still writing down. If it was the brain break, I'm happy to go back there at the end, but it was just something fun to do. So you don't have to write it down, but if you want me to, I can go back to the end of the lesson. Yeah, and what we normally do is to take a grab it like a screenshot, you know? That's yeah. how actually we do it. And guys, remember, we are using only the numbers in this list. So some of you are putting some numbers in that on part of this list, be careful. Okay, Zinsley, do you want to help me out with D? Okay. Um, uh, yeah. I think that factors of 12 will be one, two, and three. Okay, really good. Remember, we've also got 12 here. So one, two, three, and 12. Yes. Good, excellent, Sinclair. Okay, so guys, from that list, it's only one, two, three, and 12. I definitely agree that four and six are also factors of 12, but they are not in that list. So we do not include them because they are not part of the list that we were given. That's very, very important. Okay. Okay, there's lots of hands going up and down. So let's just see. Kupano, do you want to try E for us? The multiples of three that are in this list. Nope. <laughs> Gontle, you want to try? So guys, we are on E, the multiples of three. Okay, Lutando, you want to try this one for me? Yeah, ma'am, I was going to give you the multiples of three that are, in not, that are not in the list, so I'm still trying to find them. Right now. Okay, well, let's let's actually start with that. So give me the multiples of three and then we'll narrow it down. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. Okay, so 15, 18, 21, 24. Right, so guys, remember the multiples, they can just keep going, right? We can just keep going. So what's this your way? Do you now want to now look at this list for me and tell me which ones are in the list? So remember, guys, this is not my answer. These are just multiples of three. Now we actually want to go to our list and see which ones are in the list as well. So Busi do you want to help me out? Mm. 
Okay. Um, Daniela, do you want to help me here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. The multiples, the, the multiples of three is three, 12, 27, 39, and 57. Excellent. So guys, from the list, these are my multiples of three. So Lutando listed our multiples of three just to remind us what a multiple is. But then we wanted to go back to the list and see which ones were actually in the list. And that's really important. We want to use what is in the list for us in order to correctly answer the question that we've been given. Right, 12 is here. I did forget to write down 12 in the gray one. I do apologize. 369 should be there. But our green, so this one at the bottom here, grade eight, that is our answer that I'm highlighting because those are the numbers that are in the list. Betabila, do you have a question? Guys, remember to mute after talking, okay? You're not doing well. Right. Reta Bile, Sipukutle, and Kutano, your hands are up. Oh, no. Okay. Reta Bile, I'm not too sure what's happening with your sound, but we can't quite hear you. So maybe just pop an answer in the chat, or you can message Yulendo or myself, and we can help you. Okay. Definitely, definitely. Alrighty, guys. So what I'm going to do is, I don't want to do this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you these four questions and we are not going to get through all four now. And so what I'm going to ask is that for Wednesday's lesson, you've given these a try. If you don't get to them, I completely understand that you do have other homework. I wish I could do the alphabet. I do understand that you've got other homework. But this is going to help with someone's, and I can't remember now for the life of me, someone had asked a question of what prime factors are. Now, this goes back to something very similar, like odd composite numbers. If you can give me all the factors of 24, we can then use that list of numbers that we've gotten to figure out which ones are prime numbers. So let's see if in the last two minutes here, we can just get the prime, sorry, we can just get the factors of 24 because that will really, really help you guys answer the last three questions. So, Jabulo, have you got the factors of 24 for me? Or did you have a question? Oh, ma'am, I was asking when. Go, go to the toilet to pee pee. Now, move. Okay. Someone's not muted, guys. Can we just make sure we're all muted? Um, or two way, do you want to help me with the factors of 24 here? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, factors of 24 are one, two, Good. four, six, eight, and 12. And 24. And 24. Excellent. Well done. So guys, this list of numbers is now what you are going to use to answer B, C, and D. So when it says the prime factors, now what you want to do is you want to go look at these numbers and say which ones are prime numbers. Well, that would be two, three, and that's it, because all of the other numbers are composite numbers. So I want you to take a screenshot of this. I have given you, or you've got the list of numbers. And like I said, that's going to really help you to um, answer B, C, and D. Now, again, I completely understand that some of you have got um, other homework that you need to do. So if you don't manage to get to it by Wednesday, I do understand that. But give it a try to practice understanding what these words mean in terms of our factors, our prime numbers, multiples, et cetera, et cetera. Right, you will see that there is a poll that has been put up. 
please make sure that you do it. And um, while you are doing that, I see Kupano and Kutli has still got their hands up. So I'm going to answer your questions now. Uh, Kupano? Uh, Ma'am, can I answer question C, please? Yeah. Or are we going to answer okay. it on Wednesday? We're going to answer it on Wednesday. So keep your answer and remember to raise your hand for me, okay? Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Good.